Yeah, so uh, Kevin's been going through the 1986 playlist. It's a hot year. It is a hot year. There's hot a, year. There's a lot of good songs in 1986. One of my favorite things to do is actually I go on um, like a Spotify or whatever, and I just type in 1986 in the Billboard Top 100 Same. from the those that, those. And my wife, my wife and I will just sit there and just go through and it's like, Hell oh yeah. Absolute love this, same. love this. Deep dive this, into that this. year, man. I think my favorite, though, is the is 1989. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. There's something about the, there was something about the music that year. But, That's the uh, year of Prince and, and the Batman soundtrack. Yeah, but like 19... Bat uh, dance, dude. Uh, see, Ravi, appreciate <laughs> yeah. you frame dance a reference. So bat dance is fantastic. Every day. <laughs> there aren't enough songs in, in mainstream that pull dialogue from movies. People should do that more often. They should just probably ask permission first, but they sure, should do right. that they should. Yeah, more yeah. often. Well, let's just say, like, okay, so, I mean, a movie that uh, everybody loves that you can't find anywhere because Harvey Weinstein is holding it hostage, but, um, you know, Dogma, for yeah. example. Like, if somebody wanted to sample or use Dogma... Something well, what from part Dogma, of like, it? Like, because if you sample Silent Bob, it's just silence. But if you right. sample Jay... <laughs> right, 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 right. So then like, you would imagine like, you what have you, to like, what was ask the... process the, there? I, I would imagine yeah. one would have to approach whoever owns the movie. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you have to approach the performer separately, but I, I would, would imagine you have to because <laughs> the the actor did a performance 25 years ago that they didn't think was going to be used at the beginning of a song. Right. So I, yeah. I think it under normal legal circumstances. Right, right, right. It might be a different scenario. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So, mm. you know. Interesting. The question, though, that I think that Jason Mewes would love to ask right. Kanye <laughs> West, what have you done for me I mean, lately? lately? I mean, come on. The Woody Show. And uh, we decided to hang on to Kevin Smith for just a couple more minutes because Menace and, uh, and Kevin were just talking about this off the air. And it's kind of interesting that you're, I mean, we should make it clear that just because you don't yourself use marijuana anymore in any way shape or form it's not like you all, all of a sudden no. like you're against it we sell it <laughs> yeah this is a jay and silent bob blue right. brand yeah, 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 thanks yeah. to the good folks at caviar gold so yeah no yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm very pro one weed. of our djs yeah. here at the station is like please tell kevin that i love his weed and yeah. i tell everybody to carry it and so we, what's, what's weed, this like anything else uh in moderation is absolutely wonderful yeah and so this event in chicago chronicon chronicon sounds weedy but it's not <laughs> it's very, <laughs> yeah. it sounds very weedy yeah. but it's very. not we yeah. did a movie called Jay and Silent Bob Reboot a few years ago, and in that movie they go to this event called Chronicon, which is essentially built around the fake Jay and Silent Bob movie they were making in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. The one see, this with is the kind of multi-level stuff Jason that Seabass loves. He loves yeah. like the layers on layers yeah, stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. build, build, build yourself a universe. Right. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Which I, I've been doing since 94, man. Like a lot of people are like, <laughs> hey man, Marvel owes you money. I was like, I stole the idea from their comics. They owe right. me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so Chronicon, you know, when we did it in the movie, it's just basically a Jay and Silent Bob convention. Everybody dressed as Blunt Man and Chronic, Jay and Silent Bob and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ever since we did it, we're like, we, it was so easy to pull the fake version together. We're like, we should really try to do this in the real world. And so October 11th, is it? In 10th, yeah. 11th through the 13th. 11th through yeah, the 13th yeah. in, in uh, just outside O'Hara in Rosemont in Illinois, yeah. uh, where we used to go to the Wizard World Comic Con all the time. Uh, we're doing the first ever Chronicon. We picked Chicago because it's right in the middle. Sure. A lot, mm -hmm. a lot of people are like, why not Jersey? I do stuff in Jersey constantly because of the right. Smod Castle cinemas and stuff. In fact... And Chicago's a lot of fun. Chicago's a lot of fun. And plus, it's like you fly right there, and you, you're out of the airport a minute and a half. You're at the convention. So what will this be? Mm -hmm. So it's what, basically what like, well, for example, the next week I'm going on a cruise, Jay and Silent Bob's Cruise Askew. Right. So it's <laughs> me, Jay, Brian O'Halloran, Jeff Anderson, Jason Lee... Ethan Sipley, my wife Jen, uh, Ralph Garman, uh, 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 Mark Bernardin, who I do Fat Man Beyond with, Andy McElfish. A cruise, if, if you like me and my podcasting and my movies, like we're doing live script readings right. and stuff, Chronicon is that on land. Okay. So it, it's basically a Kevin Smith convention. Now, okay. there'll be people selling stuff that isn't just Kevin Smith oriented, mm -hmm. like comics and stuff, but everything in the purview of things that i've enjoyed so and i get so to have weed my own is an con. element of it like you sell weed yeah. as you mentioned yeah. i do sell weed but i don't and illinois is weed legal right yeah yes. so like, yeah. i would imagine there might be some vending but not probably not, not selling not, not on not, not on, on a floor like that. yes no. not on a floor right. but 
you know, weed sure. related paraffin. You want to sure. buy a tray, a rolling tray? You'll be able to do that. Some glassware. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, you, I'm sure you'll be able to do that. I'm sure you can find some if you want it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But the idea of like doing it in the real world, like that's where I've gotten to the place in, in, in my life where I'm like, let's just see if this is possible. One of the yeah. things that brings me the most joy in life, as we talked about, was you doing the opening to the 430 movie thing. Uh, there's another simple joy. I just made these plastic cups recently that we're going to sell at Smod Castle Cinemas that like uh, Nate Gonzalez, who does a lot of our artwork, is just me surrounded by all my characters. Yeah. And I was like, I'm, you know, they make the souvenir cups at movie theaters. I'm going to make, I made 500 of these cups. I signed them all. So like when you buy like a large soda and small popcorn, 15 bucks, you walk away with an autograph. <laughs> nice. And, but just the seeing the cup on my desk, like every day just tickles me because I'm like, yeah, this is so cool, stupid, man. man. You just got to find little hills to climb. Lower the bar, kids. Modify your expectations. Lower the bar. Drop it on the ground. Step over it. Call that accomplishment. Well, I, think yeah. I think it's cool. I mean, just, you know, how you got, you know, clerks to become a thing and you got that done and you've taken that and you build into the next thing and then you kind of use that to build, you know, and, and uh, you're, you're just taking stuff that you were just completely passionate about and that passion has just continued this entire time. Keep it alive. Like, yeah, honestly, cool. I it's think really most cool. people would have stopped talking about clerks long ago, but I'm always like, hey, man, remember clerks? You know, so <laughs> I find a new way to yeah. repackage it and whatnot. Yeah. We're doing a thing at Smog Castle Cinemas August 3rd for my birthday called Volgarthon. Now, we got five theaters in Smog Castle. Um, we're, I think we're about to sell it out. We, we've sold three theaters worth. There's two theaters left. That would mean we'd had every seat in the house, 800 seats completely occupied, just for a nonstop festival of showing Clerks all the way to Clerks 3. Eight cool. movies in a row. Wow. Yeah. August it. 3rd. Tickets at smodcastlecinemas.com. Uh, nice. You can find Kevin Smith on Twitter and Instagram at that Kevin Smith. Love you, brother. Love you, man. Thank you for uh, for being here. I'm Thanks telling you, I'm going to go home and listen to the thing you did again yeah. over and over again. It makes me That's so awesome. happy. Well, thank you for coming and sharing that. I was really interested to hear it after you. Uh, you crushed. You, you, you sent me uh, how happy you were about it. Yeah. I, that's all. I always want people when they come in and have a really great time in the show, mm -hmm. and then if I do something for somebody, Laura, was everything okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> was it good? I freak out, man. I freak out. So thank you. Thank you did you. it. You crushed. All right. Kevin Smith, everybody. All we'll right. be right back. The Woody Show.